Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Vampire. Where we last left off was we basically went and go to sleep and got into our actual next part of the chapter in the game. <laughs> we went to sleep and that's the next chapter. But anyways, yeah, we did that. We examined the blood that we got from William, I believe. William Bishop, I think, is the guy's name. Um, so things might have changed now at this point. So we've already gotten ourselves the blood. Now we just need to... Uh, you need to answer the door, I guess? Is what it says? Yeah, we have to answer to this lady, I think, because she was asking us for help. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. Hmm. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... But... I don't think there's anything in it, though, because the supply- our room is not a supply room, though. Sorry, there's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I can look for something. I may you. have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem. <clears throat> we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, Certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Oh. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. Oh. The abandoned moor behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Interesting. So that's how they're going to unlock that space for us. Because I know that there was a locked room area in the background. In the back. It's locked. And of course. Like, I know that there's like a back space area room that we just haven't explored yet, but that was because they didn't give us any room to, or it doesn't give us any keys to get in there. I'm still kind of hoping that there's a fat chance that we can find some keys to open up some stuff, because I know there's a few locked stuff, but I'm a little afraid that I have to kill some people or like drain them of their blood in order to get their, their, uh, in order to gain their thing, I guess, gain the access. Alright, I'm guessing this is the back. This is the way to get to the backspace. For some reason, they don't occupy all the spaces, though, in a sense. Like, they said that they're, that room space is a luxury, and I'm, like, thinking, well, not everything is filled up to the brim with patients, right? So, <laughs> you're kind of kind of lying to me a little bit. But at the same time, I do think that the, um, the reason why they say that, uh, and they don't have everything filled, is because, obviously... Uh, with this game, with games, we don't like to fill everything with AI and, and characters for too long. It's locked, all right. Because the affects performance. Considering this game is on the consoles as well, it definitely says a lot with like how uh, how they have to constrain the AIs in this game to make sure it's not too over fulfilling in the overfilling the um, the spaces in each space of the place. I don't know how to say it better than I should be, but anyways. Here it is. We leave this the space. Actually, is there any rats? Any rats out here? I still need to get the ten rat killings for achievements. It seems. Keep out. Okay. Quarantine influenza. Keep out of this area by order of public health officer. I see, but I also see some other stuff in here. Quarantine, contagious disease, one shall enter or leave quarantine without written or of the local local health authority and authorized employee of the shall alter, destroy or remove this card. Violating this regulation will be fined. Oh, okay. Okay, then. That shall be what it is. Also, I'm wondering if there's a way to gameplay? No, not mouse sensitivity, no. Maybe languages and subtitles? Subtitle size is at medium, so... 
Yeah, it sucks because the text is pretty small in this game in a weird way for me. I'm not a big fan of how small the texts are in the reading of the, the notes. It's really bad because it's like I want to like read it properly, but I just I have to squint my eyes somewhat because of how thinly written those lines are or thinly written those letters are written. Uh, very creepy place, I say. Why the flip is this place creepy as heck? What the heck happened? Glass vial. I'll take some, I guess, even though they're not very useful nowadays. Is this an elevator? I thought during this time elevators don't exist. Is this a horror game now? Making me just, like, get through this fight. That sounds like it's outside, not in here. Why the hell is this place creepy as heck? I mean, honestly, I can fight, but the, but the weirdness is that, like, they're just trying to put the vibes into this place as, like, horror-esque. <laughs> Why make this place, like, horror-based? Alright, let's check this room out a little bit. I want to make sure I grab every object I can. I'm guessing it's locked. Oh, I see. We can just get out from the other side here. I'm guessing that that this was that one locked entrance that we saw earlier. Yeah, right across that. Okay, so we so we did unlock it basically from this side. Okay. She stated it was locked because of what? Sanitary reasons and yet this whole thing became less of a sanitary reasoning problem where I'm hearing some weird stuff above. We did clear out some vampires in the back in the, the side garden and everything, but for some reason it seems like there's more than meets the eye in here. Maybe they kept a bunch of vampires tr imprisoned here, maybe? I can hear a lot of banging. Banging, good danging. Nothing here. So I'm exploring everything that I can right now. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Oh, there is an enemy right here. Oof. Come here. Get your blood. Not sure if there's more enemies around or not. Oh, jeez. I gotta be- Oh, jeez. You bastard. Copy me. The behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Cigarette case, okay. Last file. Quanine, I think it says. Quanine. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Hmm, interesting. Bottle of alcohol, that's not much, I would say. Dude, I need some. I need some blood, some extra blood. Enemy? Hi! Oh, jeez. Okay, I need to sometimes dodge. Okay, that guy is just covering himself. No! Oh, come on, dude. I can't even see myself. Okay, there we go. This space is not big enough for the freaking thing. Get down, buddy. Ah, jeez. She's... I'm not a big fan of the combat so far <laughs> with this whole weird stuff going on. Oh, I see the quinine is the quinine is like dropped on by the enemies. It seems like watery, sturdy blood sample. Hmm. Sheesh. Ah, so there were like other guys around here. It seems like Chuck and Chill. Hey. I cannot enter. Okay, I guess. Ooh, shillings. I'll take it. It is fascinating to see that there's some like there's some like enemies around here and such. But like it's weird enough that it's like really random. Balls of Mars fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But 
They do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. So I'm still looking for anything that's like grabbable, I guess, like objects that we can use for our own stuff later on. Uh, let's go upstairs a bit more. Might as well check everything we can. Shiny person. Thank you for watery samples. Watery bloody examples. Sucks that you create so many spaces and the doors that you don't let have access not be empty rooms, I guess. It makes no sense to me sometimes. Where it's just like you create doors, but why can't you let people do things? There's an enemy nearby, maybe? There's a hidden blood here somewhere, for some reason. Why do I feel like a, that guy disappearing, whoever it was, that vampire disappearing? Wondering what they meant. What, what that meant. Hi! These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Oh, jeez, are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. I was like trying to do the claw attack, but then it missed. Somehow it missed. There's another guy here. Somewhere. Oh, hi, right, buddy. Get the blood. Oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. What? Where did you come from? Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, uh, jeez. Oh. Got him. Get the blood. Screw off. Thank you very much. Oh. Man, the combat is very, like, simplistic, yes, but, like, it's tough to make a handle, take a handle without having to, like, be like trying to make sure I don't miss the attacks or something. And this place is like really like infested with vampires though at the same time. I just heard like a vampire trying to say something. The screeching is really annoying. Man, these freaking vibes are just scary as heck. Another elevator, of course. I'm wondering if clearing this space would give us room to do other things in this space, but I think that, again, due to in, due to how san unsanitary it is, it's harder for them to use a the space there. There we go. I'll take it. Thank you very much. It's still concerning, considering how how much space there is in this place. There is a lot of space in this place, really. Man, this place is very, like, filled to the brim with a lot of room. <laughs> but I think that's what it's interesting about it, is that you can, s there's just a lot to go through. Just game around and kind of figure out what the hell this place is. There's probably one or two more vampires sitting about nilly willy, just waiting for me to attack them. Oh, this is the room we were in just now. Oh, death report. Office of the Pembroke, uh, Pembroke Hospital Medical Examiner. Report of investigation. Descendant Samuel Connor. Race Caucasian or co co coxoid? I think it's called what? Sex, male, may age 39, home address unknown, occupation, fisherman, type of death, natural, probable cause of death, fast progressing pneumonia by virus inducing preliminary, preliminary uh, consolidation, Spanish influenza, examination attendees, Dr. Coracon Tippets, nurse Gwyneth Brannigan, Name and signature of medical examiner Dr. Cor Cor Coron Tibbets. Cor Corcoran Tibbets. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. 
I'd better look into this. Hmm, interesting. Oh, not bad. Liston knife. Blood absorb. You can acquire a new type of offhand weapon. You just acquired a new offhand weapon. L equip it and press right click to directly absorb blood. Oh, so this thing absorbs blood. Wait, let me unlock this. It's locked, all right. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, let's unlock this if we can. All right. Uh, bu 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 bu. so the use stake we got. This one increases stamina, or it takes less stamina rather. Sorry, three blood, but this one has stun. Hmm. I want to use Liston more, but it's like I don't like it because it's like. I cannot stun them at all, <laughs> so it's like uh, unless I have an ability like a like a, an ability on the side here, the effigy and stuff. Maybe that's when I can probably say, hey, like I can just like go ahead and do swap off with uh, absorption. But for now, no, I'll I'll keep it to it right now. Keep it to myself with that one thing. All right, let's get out of here. I think there's not much in this space anyways, it seems, after getting rid of those enemies. Actually, there's one more room here. Oh, this is a big area. This looks like a... Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, there's a boss fight. Oh, jeez. Oh, goodness gracious. Wait, there's another guy? Oh, no, he has an another... He has an ability. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on. Oh, jeez. I hate that so much. Oh, jeez. You lucky bastard. Give me your blood. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I gotta be careful here because I don't have much left. Oh. Ah, son of a gun. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, uh. F, 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 He doesn't give me blood much, it seems. Oh, he did give me blood. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's dead. Oh. These skulls can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Oh. Sheesh, that was really tough, though. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that was a really tough fight. It's like, he had abilities to, like, duplicate himself and do extra damage. Which is an ability I could have taken, but I just chose not to because I was just like, nah, I'd rather just keep to myself for now for whatever it is, but... Darn it. Okay, do we pick up... Do we have everything we need in this space here so far, I guess? I know there's an upper floor to it that I need to get to. I wonder what's up here. Oh, there's a crafting table here. Is this some sort of like my uh, my medical ex medical medical room now, <laughs> where I get to use it to like examine stuff and do whatever I like? Because that would be cool to have like a secret area in this area instead of uh, the Pembroke Hospital's upper floor, because that would make no sense a little bit. All right. Um, what do we got? Oh, uh, you have enough. Components to craft a medicine treatment for fatigue. Okay. Light blood serum. Okay. And then light, light regeneration serum. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got some of those things. I do want to upgrade, but I need to figure things out first. Uh, glass vial. Tar trait. At least craft one of them. Small bottles. I do want to craft up some small bottles at least. Might as well. As we do it. Um. 
We did pick up some cigarette casing stuff, so that's pretty good. It sells for a decent value, though, so... I don't know. I'm still not there yet. I'm still not in the point where I'm like, I want to do more just yet <laughs> with some of these things. What did I equip with? Oh, I equipped the Claymore thing, yeah. We still need one more common handle part, which I don't think any of these things will drop that common handle part thing. I mean, we can probably purchase it at this point, considering how we have 120 shills, shillings. Alright, uh, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to create something? Reach the pharmacy. No. No, it seems like we need to get out of here, it seems. Yeah, they'll give us the next thing once we get out of here, I think. So far, no, like, conversations so far, it seems. Which is fascinating. Now it's, like, all combat and fighting and everything. But then it's, like, earlier on, we're just doing a lot of talking. Hi! Give me your blood. I am low on blood. Oh, jeez. There we go. 99. Should have gotten more blood, but that's totally fine. I don't need to worry. There's another enemy over there. Damn it. How many more enemies are there? How are you guys all infesting this area, though? Blood. Alright, I don't want to use my claw every time. Oh. I need some stamina back. There we go. Blood. Right. Oh, jeez. How dare you move so close to me so easily? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, jeez, that was close. There we go. Sheesh, that was annoying. Quanine again. Another body drop. Wait, earlier this room was like not much to, to loot off of. Now we have a lot to loot off of? What? What kind of madness is this? Okay, let's get out of here then. Wait. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, it's the mirror. Are we missing something? Because it seems like we have to go all the way up, it seems. Okay, let's see the map. Night shift. Help Pembroke Hospital to cope with the epidemic. Craft the treatment for fatigue. Oh, we just need to craft a table for the fatigue. Okay. Then we can just get out of here then, shall we? Let's just get out of here. Because there's no point in sticking around to, to do whatever here. And just start bidding, building the fatigue thing for uh for the stuff in my room because i think that's more safer to have handle versus having to constantly go to that space and like do whatever if they're gonna keep blocking my way somewhat sorry i'm just looking at the time um yeah this way run fast okay here we are through my room how many XP we got? We got 965. Wow, that's a lot of XP. I guess that big boss fight character thing we just went through was, like, pretty strong in general, so that's pretty good. Oh. There we go. Got one bottle of fatigue. Let's make two, because I know one other person who might need it, so I'm probably going to craft up two anyways. All right. Now where do we go? Need to go downstairs, it seems like. Over yonder. So we just need to go to the nurse down here. No, not Strickland. We need to find nurse. Nurse, uh... There's a nurse. Hello, nurse. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes. Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Hmm? Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Okay. 
Um, diseases decrease the blood quality of a citizen. Use the correct medicine to heal them. Speak to the patient in the room behind Dorothy to check the medical status. Yeah, I already knew this kid had, uh, fatigue, so... I will not let you down it's funny because we've already talked to this guy before, so it's like... It's not like the first time having to give this guy medicine. That's just a no. seems to be falling apart. I'm but in the circumstances, I'm willing to give him the benefit me. of the doubt. Do I have to Good talk evening, to mom? Doctor. How is my son doing? Uh, I thought I already spoken with her for everything already, so it seems. No, it seems a. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I need to talk to the kid, but she's blocking my way. There we go. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. All right, diseases. Press E to check the medical status of the citizen. Oh, there it is. It's like on the top right corner right here with my, my, my face cam blocking it. It says F for details and E for medical checkup. Um, healing a citizen will increase the blood quality and will reveal reward you with XP. The health status of the district will also improve. Hmm, okay. E. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. Uh huh. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Alright, I gave him the fatigue medicine, which was whatever. Let's see what his, uh, what is his details are now. He's recovering, is what it says, yeah. Okay. Um... Nothing here. How painful is your throat? How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. Yeah, because he didn't give us much after that. Okay. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Alright, so that's that's that. So now we need to talk to Swansea, it seems. Oh. Blood temptation. Remember, citizen is blood. Citizen's blood will provide you a massive XP boost. Look for citizens of your of your mesmerized level or below and choose wisely. I'm not gonna suck the blood of the child. I am not doing that. Maybe the mother, because she's technically in his way, but I fear that the consequences is literally him getting... Technically, he would get probably a lot more... Uh, difficult to handle because he might end up joining the hunter crew just to kill me or something <laughs> I fear all right um we have a thousand two hundred forty XP tempting to use right now but let's talk to swan to see if we can get more XP before we get to uh, the usage of the XP please Jonathan come in yeah, I want to apply it after we finish with swan at least fascinating is it not in the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Oh. <laughs> this must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. Yeah. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Mm -hmm. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Eh, not really. I'm a living paradox. <laughs> I don't feel like this is a gift, though. But I want to be nice, so I'll just say he, his words bring comfort. It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. This guy is way too... Like, I feel like Swansea is too... 
this is not amusing. We need each other, I guess. Yeah, I do need him a little bit. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Mm. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. Yep. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. What? Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. Huh. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. <laughs> her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. The dialogue felt kind of stale, though, I feel like. The reason why I think so is because of the way that they brought together the information there. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, do I want to read this? There's just going to be a lot of reading. All right, I'll pause and read this. You guys can read it. I'll probably skim through it as quickly as possible. This is kind of bringing me back to, like, the Assassin's Creed Odyssey day. <laughs> <laughs> it really does because I played a lot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. There was a lot of reading, and this feels just just like that. But the text is way too small for me, and I just keep getting discouraged in a way for how small the texts are. Um, so this is directed towards Swansea by Ackroyd from Ackroyd. Doctor Teresa Strickland and Harvey Fiddick. Oh, this is like. Akra is telling um, Swansea about how he feels about uh, Strickland, basically. Like, how he knows whatever. I'll come back to the room when I can, I guess, later. I'm not going to bother with it right now, I think. Or maybe I'll just pick up the last bit of pieces here, I guess. Oh, jeez. Okay, I'll... Where is that? I think that's the one? No, we already read that. Yeah. Yeah, it's the rare species of vampires. We'll read that in the next episode. I'll pause and read that for you guys in, in the next episode. Um, starting that. And then, letter of thing. Pause and read, of course. Gonna read it. To Swansea from former Dr. Rakesh. Of course, it's the same thing again. Sort of doctor to doctor again. I'm glad to manage temporary morgue as soon as it opened, as I have already told you. I was a doctor during the war. Uh, can't give you anything. So he paid his way to be a doctor or quote unquote doctor in this hospital? It seems. That seems kind of sad that he literally saying that he's a doctor, but he's really not a real doctor. That's kind of a little sad and suspect a little bit. Okay, I guess the, the goal is now down there, so. I'll handle, I'll handle that in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode when nobody minds. What the hell happened to my door? Wait, why is my door open like that? The heck? What the flip? Did somebody break my door open? That ain't cool. What the flip? <laughs> Somehow my door is now broken open. Alright. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode enough of you mind. So hope you guys have a great amazing day. Good night to one for watching this. Uh, in order to progress, let me stop here and then... Yeah, I want to stop here and then come back. See if it saves. No? Whatever, I guess. Anyways, wherever we save, I don't know where it will save anyways. Wherever it comes back. I'm going to I'm gonna exit for a little bit, take a break, and then come back to play this later. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, good night, or whenever you're watching this. Next episode, let's go ahead and uh, get the XP usage. We have like 1455, yeah. We got 1455 XP, and then we'll follow the main path for a little longer because I... I don't know how much uh, how much further we can take before we need to take the side stuff again because I feel like we're stuck on not being able to do some of the side mission stuff, but I want to. 
It's just that I need to get stronger and or I need to unlock the area that I need to head back to. But uh, otherwise, yeah, let's go and try that in the next episode. Just to uh, upgrade our, uh, build our skills and afterwards uh, read some stuff and then um, move forward from there. So other than that, that's it for this episode. Roz, out. <laughs>